Welcome to the daily meditation. As always, prepare in a manner that is comfortable for you. Meaning, adjust the spine as always, the torso, the limbs, and the head where appropriate. Note as to how one can adjust the body at this present moment. Physically, emotionally, mentally, thoroughly. Whatever is your objectives in life, refine it in every way to the best of one's ability every day. Add on board an inner smile at this present moment and enhance that inner smile for you have purpose in this birth. What if you began to fully recognize and realize this whole universe is different due to your presence? And imagine what awaits as you continue to raise your vibration in enhanced intelligence, in lateral harmonic resonance, in peace, health, well-being, and inspired momentum. A simple method is to tighten every muscle possible and notice tension, then appropriately relax and compare the difference. If needed, replicate it a few more times until you are very comfortable in allowing that body to be as relaxed as appropriate for the best outcome in the practice. Notice your breath, as always. Allow the breath freedom as it moves easily through the lungs positively to your advantage. Often without realization, the breath is erratic, shallow. Here the aim is to make sure the breath flows evenly through the entire lungs and complete in exchange. May we relax the muscles of the neck a little more than we had previously. For the next few minutes, move your attention further inwardly as you focus upon your breath. And note as to how you moved your awareness inwardly. Meaning, how did you choose as to where one would allow the focus to find the self? What does it mean to go inwardly? Where would you start? Let's change it. Let's move the attention externally and compare the difference. And if one was to observe the concept of love, how has one adjusted the mind in association? There's a saying, divine love gives power. 
of every physical action and condition. What does that mean? If so, will life be different if one chose to refine harmony, joy, love in the energy flow of all thoughts. For the next few moments, move the life force inwardly with your intention, as though you're purposefully choosing to charge every cell within your entire being with pure light and love and inspiration. Relax those eye muscles. Soften the facial muscles. Relax the jaw. Add freedom to the scalp, crown, temple. Right through to the base of the skull. Imagine for the next few moments, again you are allowing the life essence to flood the brain. from the brainstem right up to the prefrontal cortex right around deep within you are charging every aspect within the brain never underestimate the influence of thought over action Extend it to your heart center. Fill every aspect of your heart with pure light and love. Extend it to your navel as well. Thus, the navel, the heart region and the brain in the skull are all refined in perfect balance with each other. As you relax, move the life force up and down your spine as you breathe from the tailbone upwards through the crown from the scalp crown down through to the sacrum and tailbone move with this easy rhythm as you focus in refinement
Imagine, at this present moment, that you become aware of the planet's intelligence. How does the mind relate to this concept that the planet that one resides upon is a living intelligence? Some may call it Mother Gaia. What if you, in turn, began not only to recognize this intelligence, but to purposefully allow yourself to find balance in harmonic resonance with Mother Earth. Take a moment in this reflective concept in integration. If one is connected to the planet, then the planet in turn is connected to the one. Certainly every cell within your body is temporarily borrowed from the planet. Did the cells become conscious to some degree as it connected to you or was the essence within the nutrients that provided you with the raw material already have its own intelligence? Go with it. How interesting it is to observe the mind in action, meaning to note as to whether you are allowing your mind complete access to its divine intelligence or the limitations that one has created due to life's constructs. Let's say you were to hear a person state that they could consciously interact with other dimensions. Would you believe them? Let's say you personally had an experience whereby your mind interacted with an intelligence that once upon a time was in human form, but now is in the heavenly realms. What concept in construct would you sense your belief in interactions? And let's say it is possible to move your mind out of the brain, out of your physical timeline, and explore the different dimensions. Would you choose to venture down that path? Or is the mind still in debate as to whether that has resonance or not. Go within and observe your thoughts in relation to the extended aspect of the human mind and personality traits of influence. Or 
always remember, you can only achieve what your mind has accepted in your ability to achieve and succeed. Prior to realize that you could walk, were you aware that you were in human form? Prior to you uttering your first words in this body, were you aware of your nature? What is the earliest memory that finds you in this life? And let's say you chose to focus upon the happiest memory thus far. Where does that memory take you? If there is a memory that you consider as the happiest memory in this life, take your mind there now. Then note as to how you interacted to trigger that memory into action. Always remember, whatever your mind has accepted becomes a reality. What if you began to extend your reality far broader than the average human interactions in time? Take this opportunity now and as you extend, grounded by Mother Earth, extend your life force up the spine and imagine you extending outwards into the ether, into the most refined frequencies in divine intelligence and love and wisdom that one could ever comprehend from a human perspective. Go there now. If your mind recognizes its pure omnipresence, then you can sense yourself in any place. It would be easy to imagine that you find yourself at the peak of a summit. If somewhere in your timeline you have become aware of the summit of a mountain. It would be easy for you to imagine you're in a tropical paradise. If somewhere along the journey that impression has found you, be it in a book, in a story form, in a movie, or in personal experience. But what if you'd never had heard of the summit of a mountain as you spent your whole life an environment where there were no mountains. Nor was there any concept of a tropical environment. How could you imagine such a place, even though it existed? Individuals may state that the heavenly realms exist, and some have shared their stories. Go within and imagine that you're moving your mind now into what you would consider as 
to a higher resonance in resident the heavenly realms go within Whatever your mind can conceive, it shall influence in outcome. Whatever your mind has accepted in reality shall in turn be influenced in its outcome. What would it mean for you to find the most inspired thoughts in action possible? Let's say you had the potential to influence humanity. Would humanity accept the influence? Some of you may be aware of what's considered as a homing pigeon. Wherever you take the pigeon, you release it, it will always go back to its place of birth. However free you may choose to free it, it will always come back to the cage as it's programmed to do so. But let's say you go and find yourself a wild dove. Would it be possible for that dove to be trained to return back to the cage? Or would the dove seek to find the quickest route out of the cage? First one must be aware as to where one is before one can decide as to where one wants to be. It is stated that one day if there is such a thing as a soul, a spirit within you, it will be set free from the confines of this physical anatomy. But the question is, when it is set free, will it be a homing pigeon? Will it seek to take birth again in human form? What if one became aware of the highest realms of existence beyond the human concept of space and time? Would one choose to return back to the human form? If you were given the opportunity to return back to preschool as a student, would you? If you were given the opportunity to return back to primary school, would you? If you were given the opportunity to come back to secondary education, would you? What is your objective? Only then shall you know whether you've graduated or not. If not, only then shall you work out what is needed for you to graduate with honours. Who is this person that is expressing life through your personality? Look at its entire resume in experiences. What is your objective? 
go within. Meditation allows you that opportunity of distillation Find inspiration. Go with it. What will make you happy for the rest of this physical birth? Go with it. Let's say at this moment, a thought popped into your mind as to what would make you happy for the rest of this birth. And you were to review your life 12 months from now, would you still state that was the fact? Or would you be bored due to the fact that what you assumed would be happiness is now taken for granted? Can you reassure yourself one day when you depart from this world you shall find yourself in a far better realm of existence? But what if you chose to make this life heaven on earth? Then if heaven does exist it shall greatly enhance the heaven that you already interacted with in human form. Whatever's occurring on the planet is occurring on the planet. What is occurring within you is occurring within you. You have a choice as to whether one takes on board the concept of the homing pigeon or the dove. Divine love gives power over every physical action and condition. At this present moment, on the planet Earth, there is opportunities abound if one is seeking liberation. But liberation in a manner that allows you full access to your pure divine nature. Thus one must leave behind all doubts, uncertainties and go within and trust that the inner self shall bring to you greater clarity in inspired revelations. Spread your wings as you have reached the level of maturity and raise your mind to greater heights than you could ever have contemplated prior. Bring your attention lovingly back to your physical body. It is your home until you've chosen to depart at the optimum time of awakening. Sense Mother Gaia as it shall provide everything that you shall need. Never underestimate the power within you. In regards to health, healing, well-being, happiness, joy, liberation and inspired momentum. Awaken your fingers and palms as always. They're your hands. Place them lovely upon your heart and let that heart continue to celebrate in rhythm the harmonic resonance that resides within you in entrainment with the greater mind of all love, all life and all illumination. And until we interact again, may the universal light of love continue to be your best inspiration whereby... The mind shall never digress from its pure sense ever again for the rest of eternity. Be at peace.